Okay, so the last year has been pretty active in Serbia. We have celebrated the opening of three retail park developments. The first one was in September 2014, the opening of Vivo Park in Jagodina, developed by a local developer. Then in April 2015, we had the opening of the first Stop Shop retail park in Chachak, devel developed by Emo Finance. And then finally, in May 2015, we had the opening of Zemun Park in uh, Belgrade. Uh, we can uh, see a trend here that uh, even though last year there was a hype around large-scale shopping centers such as Belgrade Waterfront and uh, Delta Alto Comanda, it seems that the most realistic projects for this period have been retail parks. And uh, we have information that the developers who are active in this market have plans to expand their retail park portfolio across the country. For instance, Emo Finance has announced to the media that they are uh, planning to develop around eight retail parks in the next three to four years. The first ones are going to be in Subotica Niš. And then Aviv Arlon, the developers of the famous uh, retail park in Panchevo, uh, have already started construction on two retail park developments. Uh, one is a retail park uh, neighborhood shopping center in Zvezdara in Belgrade, and the other one they started construction in, in at the beginning of 2015 is in Zrenjanin, and they're planning to open these retail parks uh, by the end of the year. Also, we had a very important acquisition uh, uh, in the past year, Mitiska uh, Riem, a Belgium investment company, has entered the market by acquiring 85% stake of Capital Park in Shabbats. And together with Poseidon Group, they're planning to open around six uh, retail parks in the next five years. And the first ones are probably going to be in Rakovic and Borcha in Belgrade. Uh, other also uh, developers such as MPC and uh, Big uh, and other, other companies are planning to expand retail park developments across Serbia and we see another trend that these developers are not focusing anymore on large cities, Belgrade and Novi Sad, but there is an interest in um, secondary smaller cities such as Subotica and Zrenjanin and Čačak and uh, so on. So that will be the first trend. May I go on with two more trends or...? <laughs> Feel free okay. to reflect. Uh, another trend that we have recognized in, in the region is the rise of online shopping platforms. I have to mention that in April 2015, the leading retail conglomerate Agrocor, owners of uh, IDEA uh, supermarkets across Serbia and majority stakeholders of Mercator, have announced that they are going to be developing a regional online shopping platform. They're going to employ around 100 people in logistics, marketing, um, uh, programming to develop this. Also, in the previous year, we have written numerous articles about international brands starting online platforms such as H&M and IKEA in Romania. In Serbia, we have a couple of retailers that have uh, online shopping platforms such as Technomania, Univer Export, uh, Gigatron. Um, and um, it is very important to say that uh, recently PayPal has entered the Serbian market and based on the Ministry of Trade, uh, one million people in Serbia have been using uh, PayPal services and they expect this to rise by the end of the year when PayPal will open up the features that local companies can use this uh, service on their online platforms. So it's definitely a trend that uh, shopping centers and retailers need to be prepared for. And the final trend that we have seen is, um, is a future trend. Um, this year, Ushe has become the first shopping center to receive a green building certificate in Serbia. Uh, they have made uh, investments in, uh, uh, in, in their layout and in their management in order to become more energy efficient. And we believe this is going to influence existing shopping centers to make similar investments in their existing schemes and also it may influence developers on how they develop their future projects. That is it for now.